So we're at the very end of the spring semester 2020, and what a semester it's been. Faculty, staff, students have responded in style and stepped up and just gotten it done. The move to put all of our curriculum online, figuring out how to teach, how to learn. I feel like we did three years worth of work in about three weeks. So in addition to dealing with COVID-19, we had the complication of uh, several tornadoes touching down in our area. As I know at least four students who lost everything as a part of that tornado damage. Um, that's gonna take years to, to recover from and our heart goes out to them and hopefully we'll be able to help them get past this uh, horrible event, complete a semester's worth of work and move on towards graduation for our students. As we approach the end of the semester, when it comes to preparing for finals, if I were a student, I wouldn't do anything differently in preparing for uh, finals that will be given online uh, that I would do for preparing for finals uh, that would be given face to face. So get your study time in ahead of time, make sure that you're well rested, make sure that you uh, are well prepared going into your finals, and uh, we're confident it will go well for you. We are planning a really special orientation session this summer that is going to be absolutely different than anyone we've had before. Uh, we are going to do a virtual session. So for students who have signed up for orientation on your designated days, you will participate in a virtual session. You'll get to do all of those wonderful things like meet with an academic advisor, review your schedule, make changes to your schedule, get up and going for this coming fall semester. So uh, this session is going to be unique because it'll be different than anyone we've done but we promise to have you ready to go and geared up uh, for the fall semester. We've pledged to try to make a decision on uh, the second short session for summer uh, in the first week of May. Uh, we're waiting uh, just a bit because there are a number of courses that don't easily lend themselves to an online format. Those would include things like uh, laboratory classes in engineering, computer science, in the natural sciences, and also some of the classes in the fine performing and studio arts. We're hoping to get to more updated data on whether or not we'll be able to offer any of the classes in a face-to-face -face setting. So look for something in early May from us. So we're looking forward to commencement in August. We wish we were doing something this May to honor our students and their accomplishments. If we end up with uh, problems with August, we'll deal with it. Uh, right now, looks like we will be okay. Uh, we're figuring out what that means, um, how many people we can have. Um, do we need to divide up our three ceremonies into five? But I can tell you we will provide that opportunity for our students to stand up and take a bow for their accomplishments. It's so important for this campus to acknowledge the accomplishments of our students and what they have done uh, working towards a degree. We are really fortunate and uh, pleased to have the Tim and Denise Downey Fund. This fund is used to provide uh, basic life necessities for students as they, uh, as they happen through life experiences. And so our uh, students can apply, receive funds, uh, and use those funds to pay bills if they have them, if there are other sort of emergent things that occur. They can visit the Dean of Students Office page, in particular the Student Outreach and Support page, uh, on the website to get information about this fund. I've never been prouder to be a mock. In the face of uh, COVID-19, in the face of our tornado, people have stood up, they've helped each other, they've uh, done everything they could to make this work and above and beyond the call of duty. We will get through this together. This is uh, certainly not something that will stop the mocks from continuing to go. It's been a delight to work with this campus community and with this leadership team to try to make these things happen. I know what an incredible uh, group of people that we have who are the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. We can do this and go mocks.